He was a tireless advocate for education and the environment. New South Wales Greens MP John Kay has died of cancer. He was 60. Today, all sides of politics remembered him as one of the true gentlemen of state parliament. More from state political reporter Sarah Gerethy. Never shy of a microphone, John Kay was always a passionate messenger. There can be a more sustainable and a more just Australia. Thank you very much indeed. Since entering Parliament in 2007 for the Greens, he campaigned to clean up politics, stop privatisation and boost renewable energy. Well, he was a man of, I think, um, unparalleled principle and enormous energy and hard work. But the cause closest to the former academic's heart was always education. I think uh, public education has lost uh, an important and critical voice uh, and an ally. Yes, he was extraordinarily tireless. He was, seemed to be there all the time, day and night. While John Kay was uncompromising in his criticisms of the state government, politics was put aside as MPs paused to pay tribute. He certainly was a political opponent, uh, but I count him very much uh, as a friend and someone who I admired immensely. I think he's been one of our state's most effective and formidable politicians over the last ten years. Um, he made his presence felt. The upper house adjourned as a sign of respect. John Kay's close friend and colleague David Shoebridge says his presence will continue to be felt. I think John will always, he will always be on my shoulder, he'll always be in my ear because um, uh, his political guidance, you know, and often politics is a rough and tumble place and um, he was his solid rock. I'll miss him. The first asylum boat to arrive in Australia in nearly two years has been met by Border Force officials on the Cocos Islands. That's according to locals there.